In the last video, we learned about the six types of mixes. Group mixes combine audio sources for easier control and group processing. Auxiliary sends are customized mixes sent to other locations, such as in-ear monitors or floor wedges, and are typically pre-fade mixes. Effects sends are customized mixes sent to effects processors and are typically post-fade mixes. A matrix mix is a customized mix containing output mixes routed to other locations, such as the nursery or the overflow tent. A PAFL mix is a headphone mix that allows you to listen or solo one or more inputs and or output mixes. And the main mix is a mix containing any number of inputs and or groups routed to the main speakers. In this video, we will learn about the number of mixes found on a few name brand mixers. Starting with a basic mixer such as the Mackie 1202 VLZ Pro. This mixer has two auxiliary sends, a single group mix, and a main mix for a total of four mix buses. Next, we have an old analog standard, which was popular in many churches a few years ago, the Mackie SR24-4. The SR24-4 was the first mixer used at New Hope Central Oahu, at the time known as New Hope Mililani, and it had four auxiliary sends, two effects sends, four group mixes, and a main mix for a total of 11 mix buses. The Mackie DL32R is used at New Hope Haleiwa and New Hope Wahiwa. The DL32R provides 14 auxiliary sand mixes, one main mix, six matrix mixes, three effects sends, and six group mixes for a total of 30 mix buses. The Yamaha LS9-32 was our church's first digital mixer. This mixer allowed the user to allocate up to 16 pre- or post-auxiliary or group mixes wherever needed. It also provided eight matrix mixes, a mono mix, and a stereo mix for a total of 26 mix buses. The D-Live series includes the C3500. This is the system that is used at our church, which consists of a control surface and a stage box. This setup can provide up to 64 mixes, with all of them user-definable. Here's something to remember. The more mix buses, the more challenging it can be to manage them all. However, most mixes are created once and can be left alone. In-ear monitor mixes are managed by the worship team, allowing the sound engineer to focus on the main mix. In this video, we will focus on the different types of mixes found on the Allen & Heath D-Live system. Starting with the most important button on the mixer called the mix button. And the most important mix is the main mix. On the C3500 control surface, the main mix is located on the last channel strip to the right, on layer A of the second bank. The blue mix button is located about halfway down the channel strip. The main mix is the only mix that is colored yellow in the virtual channel display. The main mix is active when the blue mix button is illuminated and shows all channels assigned to the main mix. When the blue mix button is not illuminated, it means that another output mix is active. Here are the other mixes used during our weekend services, starting with group mixes like all body packs, crowd mics, effects returns, drum mics, all instruments, and all vocal mics. Matrix mixes include the live stream feed, the nursery, the overflow tent, and the lanai area for special occasions. 
Auxiliary sends are mixes to destinations such as the subwoofers, eight vocalist wireless in-ear monitors, and four floor monitors used for special occasions. And then 16 effects sends, which are mixes to all the internal effects processors in the mix rack. The audio sources for these mixes originate from the stage as well as front of house. Here are some examples of how mixes are assembled on the DLive system, starting with the subwoofer mix. The output mix type is an auxiliary send. Press the blue mix button on the channel strip for the subs and you will see the faders corresponding to that mix move into place. Select layer A on bank 1 to see which faders are up and turned on for the subwoofer mix. Select layer F on bank 1 to see additional faders included in the mix. Any channel that has its faders up will be included in the mix and routed to the subwoofers. The audio sources for this mix originate from the stage and front of house. The main mix is the mix sent to the main speakers. The output mix type is a left-right or stereo mix. Press the blue mix button on the channel strip for the main mix if it isn't already illuminated and you will see the faders corresponding to that mix move into place. Any channel that has its faders up will be included in the mix and routed to the main speakers. The audio sources for this mix originate from the stage and front of house along with four group mixes. The live stream mix is sent to YouTube and Facebook. The output mix type is a matrix mix. Pressing the blue mix button on the live stream channel will move all faders assigned to that mix. This mix will then be routed on a bus to its final destination. Like the main mix, most of the sources are made up of group mixes as well as direct inputs from the stage and front of house. The All Body Packs mix is a group mix that comes from the stage inputs. When this group mix is selected, all the channel faders for body packs will move into position and be turned on and muted. This group mix is routed on several buses, including the main mix, in-ear monitor mix, and the nursery room mix. These mixes can be modified independently from each other. In summary, Pressing any blue output mix button will show input channels and or groups assigned to that mix. The default mix is the main mix, which is sent to the main speakers. In the next video, we will discuss the ingredients for a great mix.